So I've repeatedly vocalized my disappointment with all of the DNC chair candidates because there's not a single one of them that are willing to acknowledge how unfair the 2016 Democratic primary was to Bernie Sanders. The DNC literally rigged the rules against Bernie Sanders and all of Hillary Clinton's opponents to give her an unfair advantage. And since the WikiLeaks release of the DNC's emails, we know that they were actively trying to undermine Bernie Sanders and sabotage his campaign. So I want them to acknowledge this and apologize for it, because if they're aware of it, then I think that will decrease the likelihood that they're going to do it again. And as a DNC chair, you have to admit that you screwed over voters so that way we can go from there and repair that relationship but none of them want to address it and i've been desperately looking for someone to ask them this question how do you talk to people like bernie sanders supporters who the dnc screwed over so i was really excited to see that fox news had an interview with jemu green who was currently a dnc chair candidate uh and Throughout the entire interview, they were circling around and alluding to the bias that was prevalent in, a, in the 2016 primaries. And you could tell it really made Jemu Green pretty uncomfortable. Interim DNC chair Donna Brazil has been at the reins since Debbie Wasserman Schultz, there you see on the right, was forced to resign last summer. Now there's a growing list of candidates vying to succeed Brazil and get the party back on track. Among them, Jemu Green. Knowing what's happening now with the current woman in that position, because she's had some issues, maybe gave a debate question or so to the candidate before the debate last fall while she was working at CNN. The woman previous kept Bernie down, Bernie Sanders down. So, I mean, these, this is a tough position to walk into now. Why do you want this job? So clearly the host was saying things that Jemu Green did not want to hear. Uh, and, you know, she talked about how Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign. But I mean, I wanted her to just cut to the chase and ask the question. And thankfully, she actually asked the question. How do you talk to those people who supported Bernie Sanders who feel like they were shut down and shut up by the former DNC chair and you're taking that job? Now, that was a clear and concise way to word the question. and I loved it. It forced Jammu to answer. But here's what Jammu had to say. Well, I think certainly the actions of the Trump administration are going to move us really close to uni unity because there is no one. I was at JFK last night. There were people who voted for Donald Trump who were protesting. There were people who voted for Bernie Sanders, and there were Hillary Clinton supporters, and there were people so equal who were protesting. disenfranchised and have given up on politics. These policies, these decisions are bringing Americans together, and if the Democratic Party is not the home for this resistance, then we will miss out on this opportunity. Wow. Uh... I don't know what to say about that. That was just a beautiful dodge. That was as artful as Neo from The Matrix. So in response to the question, what would you say to Bernie Sanders supporters that felt shut out? You immediately pivoted to the actions of Donald Trump. I don't care about Donald Trump right now. I want to talk about the actions of the DNC. And I mean, during the election, we were told that Donald Trump would be the ultimate political mobilizer and that liberals would be rushing to the polls to vote against him. That didn't happen. And now she's telling us that Donald Trump will be the ultimate political uniter and he's going to unite the Democratic Party because we're all united against him. That's not going to happen either. Wrong answer. I want you to stop dodging the question and I want you to actually address the feelings of Bernie Sanders supporters and progressives and even many Hillary Clinton supporters who I've talked to who were absolutely embarrassed at the actions of their Democratic Party, at the way they were treated, at the way they were shut out. But you don't want to talk about that. You only want to talk about Donald Trump. It's an embarrassment. Now, the good news is that Jemu Green is not oblivious to the criticism that she's received from progressives because she actually addressed Jenk Uger and Anna at TYT because they called her out and she was offended that Jenk Uger wasn't satisfied satisfied with her unwillingness to address the divide in the party. And here's what she had to say. The idea that this race would be boiled down mm -hmm. to the 2016 primary is one of the most foolish assessments in media that I've ever seen. And I think it's incumbent upon all of us to say, absolutely not. Let's have a real conversation about the budget. Let's have a real conversation about state parties needing to change the way they interact with the public. If, Cenk, if he wants to look at just the divide as being the soul of this race, then I think that's asinine and he has another thing coming. That sounds like a threat to Jenk. So what she said basically in the interview that you didn't see there is that she wanted to go on the Young Turks show to respond to Jenk, but 
they didn't get back to her and she thinks that's trifling. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to get on there. They're going to ask you hard questions. You're going to get offended. You're going to dodge them and not answer the questions. Like, I don't get what that would prove. I'd love to see you on the Young Turks because I don't think Jeng would allow you to get away with the bullshit you've been spewing at all of these DNC forums in the debate. Uh, but let me break it down for you, Jimu, because you are clearly uninformed. The DNC chair race isn't something that can potentially or hypothetically divide us. We're already divided. That's done. The DNC divided us. Hillary Clinton divided the Democratic Party. You simply ignoring it and pivoting to Donald Trump won't convince the millions of Democratic voters that the DNC fucked over to come back to the party. It's not going to happen. We're asking you about the unfair primary and we're making it a central issue because we don't trust the DNC. We're suing the DNC and it's incumbent on the next DNC chair to convince us that what happened in 2016 which was an abomination, that's never, ever going to happen again. But you are not willing to do that. You want to pretend like we're not divided. Too late. We're divided. And I don't want unity until you actually pull your head out of your own ass and acknowledge what the DNC did. But you're giving us every indication that you don't want to acknowledge what the DNC did because you're friends with Hillary Clinton. You were an advisor to Hillary Clinton in 2008 and you want to potentially do uh, to progressives in 2020 exactly what the DNC did to Bernie Sanders in 2016. I don't trust you. And think about this. Why are you even qualified? You're a Fox News contributor. What qualifies you to talk about organizing and getting out the vote what qualifies you to be the next dnc chair if you're not even the chair yet and you've already pissed off a substantial portion of the democratic base progressives in progressive circles we are very terrified about you because you are espousing a lot of bullshit and you are dodging questions you're acting just like donna brazil and debbie wasserman schultz and other democratic party operatives that we don't trust so why should we have you be the DNC chair if you're already proving to us that you're not qualified or capable of talking to progressives? It's absurd. Jemu Green might be the only person who's worse than Tom Perez, an establishment chill. So I'm sorry, but the fact that you already pissed off progressives shows that you're not qualified. You don't want to acknowledge the divide. That divide is going to continue to grow. If you don't acknowledge it, if the DNC doesn't apologize for it, we won't get party unity and we're not going to get party unity. Let's face it. What's going to happen is justice Democrats are going to primary the asses of every corporatist centrist Democrat and we're taking over the party. So it doesn't even matter who wins at this point. You know, it's probably going to be Tom Perez. Uh, but just know this, Jimu, the DNC... Uh, you will be powerless and we will resist you if you try to do to progressives what the DNC did in the past. So, you know, you're embarrassing yourself here. You really are. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.